here at Team Mozzarella. I am Dominique. I'm Robert. I'm Daniel. And our project is on water and a speaker. Hello, we are Team Mozzarella. I am Dominique. I'm Robert. I'm Daniel. And today we're going to be discussing how sound transfers through water. What's up, everybody? My name's Joshua Lockett. Team Mozzarella, aka Team Maserati. You know, uh, today we're gonna do an experiment on how sound travels through water. Yeah, it's that serious. Now, um, but take this into consideration and uh, for safety reasons, make sure that you come equipped with goggles if you're gonna do this. Have a towel, you know what I'm saying? And uh, make sure your neighbors are okay with the sound level that you're about to play, you know? So, uh, oh yeah, and before we start, before we start, I just got to let everybody know, and this is so serious, no water molecule was hurt during this experiment. Let's go. Are you ready? All right. For this experiment, this is the setup that will save you so much money. Check this out. Look, we got the $15 Walmart speaker, subwoofer, uh, you know, computer speaker slash, you know, such and such, you know what I'm saying? On a budget, $3 Dollar General container package, you know what I'm saying? Because we're on a budget. Gotcha. Free 99 water? Woo! Because we're on a budget. Never mind all that. The one thing that you got to have when you are doing this experiment, and I'm telling you this is completely necessary, is a towel, <laughs> at least a towel or something, because you're gonna get wet, you're gonna get wet. Hey, you are gonna get wet, especially if your speaker's bigger than this, you are gonna get wet. But, uh, all right, stay tuned, we're about to start the experiment. All right, guys, as you can see, we're about to start experiment take one. All right, we started off with a low bass tone. I actually had to turn it down because the water shot out a little more than what I expected, but as you can see, the, the sound is actually trying to pass through the water. If you actually look a little closer into the water, you can, you can see the interference in, inside of the water. Now we're gonna do experiment take two. I decided to put things in slow motion because slow motion is better. <laughs> All right, guys, I had to put it on the side because the camera was getting wet. But as you can see, it's in slow motion. Uh, this is the low bass tone. I actually turned it down from what I shot in the first video. Now sound is actually three dimensional. It's not two dimensional. Sound travels in all directions. Now, the, depending on the, the intensity, you know, sound can, uh, it could put a higher pressure or a lower pressure, which basically will make the water actually jump out of the dish or stay in the dish and, and make nice designs. <laughs> Yeah, during this experiment, I noticed that higher frequencies have a different effect than lower frequencies does. So if you get the chance, you should actually play around with this. It's actually pretty cool. See, the, the ripples in the water are actually showing higher pressure and lower pressure of uh, sound waves. So basically, the higher the SPL or your, your sound pressure level, the more the water will jump out. See, um... What the water ripples is actually showing us is what our air molecules do when sound is being produced. Yeah, so the, that's basically it. Uh, I can go no further. This is uh, Team Maserati, and this is our physics experiment. 